How on earth did researchers ever figure out that if you took bone marrow from a healthy person and transferred it into a sick person, you could potentially cure a type of cancer known as leukemia? And it started with a very simple question. If leukemia is cancer of the blood and the bone marrow is the place where new blood cells are made, after a patient gets chemotherapy, which essentially wipes out all the sick cells in the bone marrow, could new healthy cells then be introduced and rebuild? And this idea came from what researchers saw with animals. There were animals that after very strong radiation therapy or chemotherapy, they, had, they realized that these animals could not make blood cells. But if they were given healthy marrow cells through a vein, then their blood systems came back. And so doctors decided to try this on real people with blood cancer. And the lesson was very surprising because they realized that the new donor's immune system did more than just make blood. It actually started seeing the leftover cancer cells as targets and attacking them. And so that whole effect became a secret weapon that chemotherapy alone could not provide. And so we're now able to treat this blood cancer in kids with a simple three-step plan. And the first step is clearing space within the bone marrow through chemotherapy and sometimes radiation in order to knock down the cancer cells and make room for the new donor cells. And then we find a donor who matches this patient's blood stem cells, collects them, and then transfer them into the patient's vein like a blood transfusion. And the cells automatically know where to go. So they go in, they settle in the bones, and, and in about one to three weeks, the new donor cells start making a whole new set of white blood cells, red blood cells, and even platelets. And the end result is the patient gets a whole new immune system that then patrols their body for any remaining cancer.